Good morning from National Weather Service Pocatello. This is your weather hazard briefing for Monday, November 7th. The key points for today, the Pacific Northwest low that's been hanging out along the coast will continue to bring uh, winter weather through midweek. We do have a winter storm warning and winter weather advisory currently in effect. We'll see breezy winds today as that cold front pushes through and temperatures will steadily decline throughout the week with much of the region seeing single digit and that's positive and negative uh, morning lows by next weekend. A current look at satellite imagery. You can see a lot of moisture and clouds pushing in um, under strong southwest flow. And our weather risk outlook for the next five days. Today, precipitation will continue to work eastward across the region ahead of and along that cold front. And many areas will see precipitation begin as rain or even maybe rain snow mix. But as snow levels drop behind that front, they'll reach valley floors by tonight. Um, so the precipitation will transition throughout the evening. And our best chances for snow across the Snake River Plain will be overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. And the rain and snow mix will continue um, over the next couple days. The focus will shift to the eastern and southeast highlands as well as the south hills um, for tomorrow for impacts. And for Wednesday, everything will be um, mostly east. We will see some precip uh, surge back into the Wood River, Lost River, and Sawtooth areas, but intensities won't be as much. And for Thursday, we'll see that snow start to taper off along our eastern side. And for Friday, we'll be dry. Here's a map of our watches and warnings that we currently have out. The winter storm warning seen here in the pink colors. Those will be in effect from either or through either 5 p.m. or 11 p.m. tonight. These zones all the way through here will be through 5 p.m and the far eastern portion up here in the Island Park area will go through 11 p.m. tonight. And we also have a winter weather advisory in effect. It will um, start at 5 p.m. tonight and go through 5 p.m. Wednesday. And it's for the regions here in this bluish purple color. High temperatures for today with that southerly flow in place. Uh, temperatures further south here are pretty warm. We'll see mostly 40s across the upper Snake Plain and further south, except for our little bit higher elevations will be a little bit cooler. And, you know, of course, cooler further north, um, we're looking at 30s and below. And we do have strong winds this morning. Uh, winds this morning will be pretty similar to this afternoon. We are seeing uh, gust over 40 miles per hour, especially across the Central Mountains and here the lower Snake Plain and the Southeast Highlands. And as that cold front moves through, similar wind gust, uh, winds will remain breezy through the afternoon. And then after that cold front pushes through, we will see winds start to taper off throughout the evening. And here's a map of our snowfall um, forecast amounts until midnight tonight. Uh, so we could see around 6 to 12 inches today for the highest peaks of the Central Mountains and the Eastern Highlands. And a few inches elsewhere. Like I said, tonight, overnight, into tomorrow will be our best chances for snow up further north across the Snake Plain. And low temperatures for tomorrow morning. We're looking at 25 and warmer um, for the Snake Plain to further south and 20s and below even in the single digits um, further north in the central mountains and high temperatures for tomorrow will be a few degrees several degrees cooler than today snowfall amounts for tomorrow again we could see up to 12 inches um, for portions near the tetons portions of the eastern highlands bear river range and again, this accumulation here across the lo lower and upper Snake Plain, those will mostly come in the early morning hours for tomorrow after the cold front moves through and we see those cool temperatures. And low temperatures for Wednesday morning will be pretty similar, um, staying pretty consistent to tomorrow's. 34 for Pocatello, uh, lots of 30s further south, 
and 20s and cooler further north. High temperatures still pretty mild, uh, 39 for Pocatello, lots of 30s and upper 30s, low 40s further south, uh, Snake Plain downward, and uh, 30s and cooler across the higher terrain up north. Snowfall amounts for Wednesday. Like I said, we will see a little bit of another push for the Central Mountains, um, but the, the larger accumulations are still going to be across the Eastern Highlands. <coughs> so up to another maybe six to eight um, inches for the highest peaks of the Bear River Range near Island Park area and over near the Tetons across our border. So just to summarize, that Pacific Northwest low will continue to bring winter weather impacts through midweek. We do have winter storm warning and a winter weather advisory currently in effect. We'll see breezy winds throughout the day today, tapering off um, after that cold front has moved through, so tapering off this evening. And temperatures will steadily decline throughout the week. We'll see much of the region uh, reaching single digit lows um, by next weekend, and that's positive and negative low temperatures. So please do be safe with those winds and that precip. It will create blowing snow concerns, travel impacts, so please do stay alert and informed of road closures. Um, stay off the roads if possible, and if you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to call us or email us or check us out on weather.gov. Thank you so much for listening. Stay safe and hope you have a wonderful day.